Hi, this is Krishna Teja and you are with Packet Prep. How do you prepare for the coding round? The first very important thing is learn the fundamentals properly. You can pick up any book. I would suggest you to go with the this particular book by Dennis Ritchie. The reason is you can look at the size, it's very very thin. So you can quickly glance all the important concepts. If you find this book to be tough, then probably you can go for uh, Yashin Kanitkar, which is more of a user-friendly book. Focus on the core things like how we get with the if condition, then for loop, while loop, the switch condition. These small, small things make a big difference. So focus on them. The second thing is learn the code logics like the prime numbers, then palindrome, factorial, Fibonacci series, LCM, GCD, leap year. These are all very, very important. First, understand how exactly you want to write code for this. The best way is go to the YouTube, check out the packet prep channel and you'll find this playlist coding for TCS and QT, wherein we have listed almost 20 to 25 programs. Look at all those videos and try to write those program code in your notebook first. Learn them properly. Then go on to the editor and uh, try to write the code and compile it. After this, you need to understand how do we write the command line programs. So I'll give you a quick run through of this. All right, let's write a code to take command line input. The first line is hash include stdio.h. Other than this, you also need one more uh, library file that is the standard library stdlib.h. Now let's write the main function int main and this is the space where exactly you want to give the command line. It will actually take two things. One is the argc, the other one is character pointer arc v and secondly it's a pointer to the array. Now argc is argument counter basically to understand how many arguments are there and argv is to hold the values. All right. Now how exactly we're gonna use these? So for timing, let's say I give it a sprint and if I try to display the argc, what happens? Let's see this. Let's say argc. All right, let's compile this gcc. The program name is command line dot c minus so let's give the executable file as output. All right, now let's execute the output. Output. You see that arc c we're getting it as one. So what is one is basically whatever is being typed onto the command line that is your argument. Let's say I give output one two three. You got the argument counter as 4. That means this is the first one, second, third, fourth. So, 4 arguments have been passed. Let's try one more. What if I say 5? We have 2 arguments. That is, one is this one, the second one is this. Now, how do we access this particular value or maybe this particular file name? So, that's where your argv comes in play. So, let's say printf and argv. Now, because it's a character pointer, we're going to use percentile s and arg. Now, here uh, arg v will have the data in the form of an array. So, you need to access that with the index. So, let's say I give it as 1. First, we need to compile it. Then, let's run this. All right. So, we got the arg c as 2. Yes, we have two arguments passed and we are getting the value as 5 and if you are carefully observed it is actually the parameter 1. So it's an array, array always starts with 0 and then 1. So 1 is basically the second command line argument. So if you want the first one probably you have to give it as 0. Now once I do it, oh sorry, I need to first compile then run. So can you see that the 0 is actually giving the file name. So, in most of the coding, you basically need to take the value from 1. 
we have to leave the zero because zero holds the file name all right now most of the querying questions in the interviews generally they give you a command line input as integer but if you see we are trying to take it as a character right so you need to convert it into an integer so what if i directly uh, give it as percentage d and if you try to run it will directly give you an error that it cannot be d because the it is saying that the format type is int and this is a string so what we're going to do is we need to typecast the character array to an integer so let's take int i equals so what if i use directly int of arg v of 1 and here let me type it as i first compile then run so are you able to see that you're getting the garbage value yes so we cannot typecast a pointer basically this is this doesn't work so what here what we're going to do is we'll use a library function array to integer so that's where we are using the standard library so once you do this this will work so compile and run we got the value i hope you're clear with this so basically whenever you write this function main make sure you give this and then accordingly access the data most of the people have a doubt like will the programs in the tcs will be very very simple like uh, get the prime number series or fibonacci series i don't say that they are pretty direct but they are somewhat relatively easy wherein they are trying to mix two or three concepts and building the question something like this was asked in the mock test wherein there is a series of numbers wherein the even numbers are the prime number series and the odd numbers are actually the fibonacci series wherein you need to find the nth number if you can understand the core logic of prime numbers and fibonacci series i think you can actually write that code right and how exactly the panel looks like do we have a compiler where we can actually compile yes there is a web compiler it looks something like this wherein uh, there's a question on to your left side and there's a editor kind of a thing in the right side and there's a button to compile basically it's compile plus run as you write the code and compile it you can actually see the status of the code you might see an output also for the public test case and you will see the status success or failure for the private test case now what is this public and private uh, test cases for this question like uh, the the prime and the fibonacci series they have asked us like what is the 14th number in the series which which is actually 17 now if they give you just get the 14th number as output as 17 probably an intelligent student might directly use a printf statement and give 17 so to overcome that they also have a private test case so basically your code will compile for not compile rather run for three times wherein they'll give different inputs for all the three inputs you should get the correct answer then only uh, your code is perfect and this is somewhat confusing so what we have done is we have just designed this and we have put it into our packet prep website so i'll give you this link just go to this particular url you will see almost very similar uh, panel for the tcs and qt you can just go and run this code and uh, you should be able to see the output all right and to make it a little more comfortable for you what we have done is we also added the compilation error uh, block also so let's say if i remove a semicolon and as i compile it you will see an error so in the exam you will not see this error but uh, just for your practice we are trying to give this error panel as well all right so once you are done with the basics once you are done with the code logics and once you are able to write code on your own you are good to go that's it this is this is the only preparation strategy anyone can suggest and maybe if you are finding it difficult to actually learn the code and if you need some mentor who can actually help you go through this coding around probably you can come for our uh, giga code workshop which we are doing in this weekend wherein it's a full day workshop wherein we'll try to explain all these logics and we'll make you write the code then and there so it's more of a refresher for you so anything else you have in your mind specifically for the tcs nqt coding part you can post a message we'll try to respond as quick as possible all the best